sneaky gearbox ruined our fun by patching the system of slaughter red chest farm to be honest guys i think we all knew it was coming from just how easy it was so today i bring you a few alternatives to farming red chests now they ain't anywhere near as efficient as the system of slaughter but they are still great to use to get those legendaries How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be in with a chance of winning this yourself, follow the instructions on screen now and good luck. So with the ninja hotfix taking away the system of slaughter red chest farm exploit, I've decided to bring you a few alternatives to farming red chests. Like I said, nowhere near as efficient, but they are still stupid fast in you earning those legendaries. So first guys, I will mention, I have a spot where you simply spawn literally on top of a red chest, not being bothered by ads either, and it's literally 15 feet away from you once you spawn in. But it's on the handsome jackpot, and I know not everybody has the DLC. So that's why I will save this until I've covered at least one where everybody can access it. So firstly, the drives on Pandora. Within a tight space, there are three chests you can farm. Although you do have to do a little bit of running, it's still super efficient. So head to the drives on Pandora and spawn in here. Once you do follow the route I take to this vending machine. Now behind it, there's a hole in the ground. This has actually opened up as part of a super early side mission, which I'm guessing everybody has done. But if you haven't, and this hole isn't opened for you, that's fine. There are still two chests you can farm, which are super close together. So go down this hole if it's there for you and open that red chest. Then climb back up the ladder and head to Ellie's garage. Once here, climb upon the roof in the method I use, and there's a red chest for you to open up here. You then want to go down the back of the building and follow the short route I take. You will eventually see a Ellie billboard. This is where you have to climb up to. Once up there, there's a car trunk you can open and bam, your three red chest people. Now if you quit out and load back in, you will spawn in Ellie's garage. Here it's up to you, either run back and start at the red chest down the hole, or simply grab the one on the roof of Ellie's garage, and then head to the one by that Ellie billboard. That's up to you. I will state using a snowdrift artifact will make this much quicker. So yes, open those chests, quit out, load back in, rinse and repeat. Now I know there are five chests within this droughts area, but doing just these three, in my opinion, are much more efficient before loading out and back in. The second method in getting that red chest, and this is very, very efficient, is up on the handsome jackpot. Here you want to spawn into the impound deluxe at the beggar's berth fast travel station. Once you have loaded in, turn back on yourself and follow this route I take. <laughs> 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 
So once you are here, trigger this checkpoint station and then simply mantle onto these crates right nearby and grab that red chest. Then simply quit out and load back in. You will load back in at that checkpoint station and you just simply mantle the crates again and grab that red chest. Rinse and repeat and it's a super super efficient farm. Okay, so the third method is super quick, but you have to battle through a few enemies and it takes a little more time to get to this place. So go to Eden 6 and go to the Floodmore Basin. Here you want to load into the Reliance Fast Travel Station. Once loaded in, go to the place I mark on the map. Again, using the Snowdrift will make this much quicker for yourself. Once you get here, you have to mantle onto one of these containers or locks, which are being escorted across the map. Here sometimes enemies are waiting for you, which you may want to take out. If you do get knocked down, don't stress, there are ladders which you can climb back up. So when you see a container or logs coming towards you, time your jump and get aboard. This will then take you across the map until you reach the fort. Once you jump, you better be ready for a fight. Because the COV like giving up their prisoners about as much as a grog likes giving up a human shin bone. Time to jump. Good luck, Vault Hunter. Here you will have to jump down. Once you do, guys, head to the center room and open that chest. Again, as will pressure you, so be quick. Now, quitting out and loading back in, you will spawn literally on top of this red chest. So you can rinse and repeat this as you like. In my opinion, all the other two methods are probably better as there are no ads there which bother you. But it's up to you in which you use. And there we have it guys, three methods in farming those red chests to get those legendaries post system of slaughter exploit patch.
And on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.